Yo, welcome everybody. It's the uh, Science with Clayton conversation today. So I'm actually going to go back to some information that we produced four years ago and is more pertinent now. So many conversations going on around make America healthy again and how we improve mental health, how we improve the aging process, how we can improve sleep and stress and mental function. So they say success leaves clues and data and outcomes are everything, right? That's that's the key to uh, the conversations regarding this. It's not about hype. It's not about what what's the, the newest thing because real science, real bioscience engineering is going to produce the outcomes and maybe a real bioscience engineer like the one you can see photos of and paintings of behind me has already done these things. So we're going to take a look at some heart rate variability data done by one of the most proven recognized devices uh, in the world for, for measurements of heart rate variability and metrics as it pertains to health, function, performance, longevity, and a specific protocol that involves two products and how they function. So let's dive in here and see if I can do this properly. I, wanna sh I don't wanna share my screen. I want to go here. Stop share, and I want to share here in this. So this is a case study of root clean slate and zero in based on what you see. Simple explanations of the Nilus and what you'll, you'll see in Europe where this device was created, it is known as the Nilus in the United States. This device is white labeled for brain tap. Um, it is uh, very well established for what it can do. And you can see some notes regarding heavy metals and detoxification and heart rate variability. Um, this is not something that is new age. Um, most of uh, the wearables right now, well, actually not most of, all of the wearables that you wear, whether it's your watch, whether it's a ring, whether it's a bracelet or a band, um, something that you wear around your uh, midsection when you're training, they all use heart rate variability. Um, the key is the measurements and then what happens when you do things. So this case study that you're going to see is based on the use of clean slate and zero in and their effects. We know what clean slate is. And if you want more information on clean slate, you can go to the rootbrands.com. Now there are, you know how to get there. Zero in, same way. So let's dive in. So this, this case study, this test was done on a 61-year-old PhD who happens to be on the medical advisory board for the same device that's doing the testing. So he kind of knows. But what we saw from a protocol standpoint, and hopefully this highlights properly, of two, two products taken, clean slate, 10 drops. Zero in, two capsules. The baseline test was done at 11.59 a.m. That test was done right before taking 10 drops of clean slate and two zero in. The follow-up test was done 45 minutes later. Right, So we're not talking about a long period of time, and this is really important because the human body functions on an electrical basis. As you've probably heard, that frequencies are, are everything. Everything is frequency-derived. That is true, and especially when it applies to properly structured nutraceuticals that have the ability to work with and communicate with the body. So the, the thought process of this was that the combination of these two could influence your nervous system and your vegetative state. So looking at your parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system, your autonomic nervous system function, which is crucial because your autonomic nervous system controls all of the, the passive aspects of the body, breathing, you know, rest, relaxation, fight or flight responses, hunger, digestion, all of these things that are automatic are part of your autonomic nervous system. So 
can it lead to, can the combination of these two ingredients increase your longevity and lead to a healthier life? That's looking at biological age. Can it improve your sleep cycles and your biorhythms? Can, can it influence your metabolism? These were all things that were going to be investigated. The, the results showed this. Less tension, which means a reduction in stress. Improved cardiovascular function due to dopamine and serotonin pathway improvement. A improved brain function and cognitive performance. Better overall feelings, right? So you just feel better. An improvement of your psycho-emotional condition. Pretty sure people need that now. And improved restful sleep. This was done in 45 minutes. So we're going to dive into a few things. So you actually have a reference in this. And this is something that will happen across the board because these have been duplicated, not just in a single instance. Now, one of the things that's talked about a lot with zero in is the fact that each capsule includes 100 milligrams of anhydrous caffeine. Now, anhydrous caffeine functions different than traditional caffeine. If you're drinking coffee or using energy drinks and you're using other stimulants that include coffee, you know that caffeine will increase your heart rate. Well, as you can see here, with the before and the after, that the heart rate, which is the above part, really doesn't change, as you can see. But below the rhythmogram, which is the heart rate variability aspect of this, changes significantly. So when we look at the cardiovascular adaptation, which is the A section, your vegetative regulation, which is the B section, your neurohormonal regulation, which is C, psycho-emotional state, D, and your overall health index, H, in the baseline, was it 50%, 57%, 44%, 43%, and 49%. And then 45 minutes later, after taking 10 drops of clean slate and two zero in, you see function at 99, 100, 99, 97, and 99. I am pretty confident that that's a pretty solid improvement in 45 minutes. And as you, as you saw, that there's no change in heart rate, but the massive change in heart rate variability. So that shows that taking 200 milligrams of anhydrous caffeine when properly stacked in zero in with its other constituent ingredients, that anhydrous caffeine is actually acting as a stimulant to allow the chemical reaction and the electrical reaction of those other ingredients to kick and change your heart rate variability literally in minutes. So we can look at reductions in stress and reductions in vitality in your vegetative and your stress index. Let me see if I can scroll this over. So initially, Stress index was at 108, and the score is between 10 and 100. But 45 minutes later, he's at a 39. So a massive improvement in parasympathetic and sympathetic response. Vegetative balance went from a 207, which was way out of whack, to a 68, which means less stress, better function. You can see basic basic numbers on the scatterogram that the vegetative index improved significantly as well. But we're gonna we're gonna skip through a few of these to get into fun numbers. The total power, which is a measure of autonomic nervous system function. Let's look at this. This is kind of dope. Um, there's other ANS equipment that I've worked with in the past. Uh, that is medically billable, that measures autonomic nervous system function. This marker is uh, a great measurement for how much power, how much energy your body has to deal with stress. And as you can see, if I do this right here, his baseline was at 1300, which is very, very low. 45 minutes later, it was over 6,000. So you have a 400% plus improvement in total power and autonomic nervous system function in 45 minutes. This is unheard of and outstanding. And it is something that you can do consistently. So it's not, not something that you do once. And then once you're done with that test, you're going to go back to normal. The use of clean slate and zero in is something that you're going to do consistently. Therefore, your outcomes are going to become consistent. 
So you have a reduction of risk factors for blood pressure, heart failure, and inflammation. Hold on, I'm pretty sure that's the conversation that everybody has about health, that inflammation is the cause of problems and that people have issues with cardiovascular function and heart failure. I'm pretty sure this is groundbreaking. Your neurohormonal index, look at this. Your brain function improves like crazy. Baseline of 44, 45 minutes later is a 99. That means you've gone limitless. And you can see here your psycho-emotional state, how brain improvement was initially 43, 45 minutes later, a 97. And you can see here uh, where he was primarily focused in frontal frontal lobe, that there was a lot of stress and fatigue. And in 45 minutes, you saw that completely shift. Look at the drop here and how psycho-emotional state shifted to a massive level of cognitive performance in beta one and dropping delta stress. Kind of, kind of outstanding. Now we get into the fun part. Because when we talk about biohacking, biorhythms, and biological age, and chronological age, you can disconnect your biological and chronological age, right? The goal is to age chronologically for a long time, but biologically be a lot younger than the years that you're here. So you can, you can see here the individual doing the test is 61 years old. Biologically on his baseline, he was 53. So he's eight years younger biologically than chronologically, which is pretty good to be eight years, eight years younger than you are chronologically. But check this out. 45 minutes later, he was biologically a 53-year-old. 45 minutes later, he's 31. Now, some people want to talk about losing weight in this world. He just dropped two decades. Imagine losing 20 years biologically in 45 minutes. He just shifted, as you can see, his entire gerontological curve. Do you want to lose a little weight or would you like to use and lose decades? outstanding. Now, we know that the body has an aura and heart rate variability is phenomenal at measuring your aura and your doshas, your chakras, and your Chinese meridians, which we're going to look at. But you can see the expression of, of your aura through different measurements. His baseline, you can see aura as a baseline, was at 49%. 45 minutes later, it was at 99%. And when you understand energetically that we can shine bright like a diamond when we're in our right form, there's a little bit of a difference in expression. He went quantum. Chakra chart, you can see the output of 40, 43, 41, 44, 57, 54, 25 and 49% in the root chakra, which happens to be my favorite chakra. But look at what happened in 45 minutes. And look at two things. Look at the output of his root chakra, but also look at what happened with his pineal gland and his crown chakra. Insane, right? So every aspect energetically of your body improves. Chinese meridians, same thing. You can look at the meridian output. The interesting part is to look at the look at the chart on the left at the expression of each meridian. And you can see the percentage function of each of those meridians on the baseline. And then look at what happens after 45 minutes. You almost have a perfect, perfect expression of all the meridians 45 minutes after using two zero in and clean slate. So it's almost a perfect balance of yin and yang.
The same thing happens with his doshas. Now, the important part with your doshas is the outside five, all of the elements should be balanced. They should be 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. 20. The in part, the internal part, your pitta, your kapha, your vada, all make up who you are. So that balance is going to be, you know, your own specific function, but the outside should be balanced. So you can see in his baseline, it was 22% water, 21% fire, 17% air, 17% ether, 20% earth. They're out of balance. 45 minutes later, it's 19 plus percent ether, 19 plus percent air, 20% fire, 20% water, 20% earth. Perfectly balanced in 45 minutes. So Ayurvedically, your doshas all line up. And then you have additional data. I'll make this available to everybody upon request. But you can see facts don't lie. And if you're looking to improve your overall health and function and performance, you have to get back to your roots. And it's here for you. Hope this finds you well. Create greatness, my friends.